Hello everyone, myself Sai Prasad, Alexa in the Ahlabad High School and the Junior College. Welcome to the series of lectures of Intermediate First Year Maths A. As of now, today we are going to start trigonometric ratios up to transformations. What is sin theta opposite by hypotenuse? What is cos theta adjacent by hypotenuse? What is tan theta opposite by adjacent? From these three things, uh, we have discussed this A by C, B by C and A by B, right? The next will be the reciprocals of these things, right? The reciprocal of sin, reciprocal of cos and reciprocal of tan, clear? Let us see them. See here, the first thing is reciprocal of sin that is hypotenuse by opposite side that is defined as cosecant theta. It is actually cosec, but we always pronounce it as cosecant theta, clear? Aren't you thinking of uh, few more out of the box? What is this tangent, right? This tangent is the, the same name which you used to uh, think in the secants and tangents of a circle in your uh, previous classes. In your 10th class, you would have have something called a secants and tangents. From that only we got this cosecant, right? How cosine for sine? Similarly, a cosecant is a, a combination with a secant, right? For tangent, we have one more thing is cotangent. Hope you can remember it. See here, cosecant. Cosecant is simply called as cosec theta, which is reciprocal of sin theta. Right? If sin theta is opposite by hypotenuse, cosecant theta can be written as hypotenuse by opposite. Clear? The next will be secant theta, which is reciprocal of cos secant theta, which is reciprocal of cos theta. What is cos theta adjacent by hypotenuse? What is secant theta reciprocal of this? That is hypotenuse by adjacent side. Is it okay? Finally, tangent ka reciprocal is cotangent which is simply called as cot theta, okay. Cot theta is reciprocal of tan theta, right. This can be written as cos by sin or it can also be written as cosecant by secant, cosecant theta by secant theta or simply it is the reciprocal of tan that is opposite by adjacent, this can be written as adjacent side by opposite side, right? How many ratios we have seen? We have seen six different kinds of ratios that is sin, cos, tan and cosecant, secant and cot, clear? These are the six ratios which we have to remember in the trigonometry. Now let us see uh, how are they going to vary in different uh, positions. For example, if this is my coordinate axis of angle uh, theta, see here, uh, here initially the angle is 0. If my ray is rotated through an angle 90 degrees in the anti-clockwise direction from positive x axis, right? This is anti-clockwise direction and this is positive x axis, right? Then this angle will become 90. If it still rotates, then it becomes 180, that is 90 plus 90, this is also 90 degrees, right? Still it rotates, it becomes 270 degrees, still it rotates by 90 degrees, it becomes 360 degrees, right? 360 degrees is nothing but our 0 degrees, okay? We can still rotate it. If 360 is uh, again rotated with 90 degrees, what are we going to get? We are going to get it as 450. If we still rotate it, we get it as 540. If we still rotate it by 90 degrees, what do we get? We get 630. If we still rotate it, we get it as 720. 360 ka double is 720, right? If 1 pi is 180 degrees, what about 360 degrees? 360 degrees is 2 pi, right? And 720 is 4 pi. Is it clear? If this is 2 pi, then half rotation, it is nothing but 180 is nothing but pi, right? Half of 2 pi is pi, again half of pi is pi by 2, which is 90 degrees, okay? Where pi is? in terms of radians, 
pi radians, 2 pi radians, 4 pi radians, right. Then uh, will the sine, cos, tan, everything will be same in all 4 quadrants? Let us check that. Let us check the measurement of sine in the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant, okay. Shall we see? Let us start that. Hmm. See here, uh, this consists of four quadrants where initially the ray is at an angle 0, if it rotates in an anti-clockwise direction by an angle 90 degrees from the positive x axis, right. If my angle increases from 0 to 90 degrees right in an anti clockwise direction that will be my first quadrant that will be my first quadrant like is it clear again if it rotates one more 90 it becomes 180 we have discussed one more 90 it will become 270 that is 3 pi by 2 right if it rotates one more 90 it becomes 360 or again 0 degrees we can consider it as 0 degrees only this is fourth quadrant this is third and this is second right uh, well this six ratios will be the same in all those uh, quadrants no let us see see here in the first quadrant all the ratios are always positive okay sin cos tan cosecant secant everything everything is positive in the first quadrant whereas in the second quadrant only sin terms that is sin and its reciprocal cosecant are positive and remaining all other things what are those all secant cos tan cot all those four ratios are negative in the second quadrant whereas in the third quadrant tan and uskar uh, reciprocal that is cot are always positive other than these both uh, the remaining ratios such as sin cos cosecant secant are always negative in the third quadrant whereas in the fourth quadrant cos and its reciprocal secant are positive other than those both remaining four ratios that is sin cosecant tan cot are negative in the fourth quadrant is it clear okay then what is the need of uh, making that that is positive in this and this is positive in this because if it is uh, 145 if it is uh, 135 if i want to find the ratio of sin 135 then i can directly classify it as sin of 90 plus theta right 90 plus theta so that uh, I will directly get into second quadrant then in this quadrant my sin value will be positive then I can directly write the value of sin 45 right. Let us see few standard uh, angles that is uh, 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90 okay. Let us find the ratios for this 0 here it is pi by 6, here it is pi by 4, here it is pi by 3 and here it is pi by 2. Here it is in degrees and these are in radians, okay. Let us find uh, sin of these angles, sin that is sin 0, sin 30, sin 45, sin 60 and sin 90. To remember it in easy way, we can write this as under root 0 by 4. 1 by 4, 2 by 4, 3 by 4 and 4 by 4. It is easy to simplify actually. 0 by 4 is nothing but 0. 1 by 4, under root of 1 by 4, under root of 1 is 1, under root of 4 is 2. It becomes 1 by 2. So, here 2 by 4 we can cancel it. This is under root 1 by 2, under root 1 is 1, root 2 is in the denominator right here root 3 is root 3 root 2 root 4 is 2 right here also if we get for cancel 4 and 4 it becomes root 1 which is nothing but 1 now can you understand how did we write this it is easy to write but you have to remember them also see here here it is if I ask you what is sin 0 you should be able to remember 0 sin 30 is 1 by 2 sin 45 is 1 by root 2 sin 60 is root 3 by 2 and sin 90 is 1 is it clear uh, you have already uh, seen such kind of things in your previous classes ok better we will discuss again right after sin what we are going to get we will get cos right how to write cos just reverse the order right from this side 1 
root 3 by 2 then x 1 by root 2 then x 1 by 2 again 0. Is it clear? You can remember right what is the value of uh, cos 45 1 by root what is the value of sin 45 1 by root 2 cos and sin both are same at 45 degrees. Is it clear? See here uh, sin 0 is 0 whereas cos 0 is 1 clear and sin 30 is nothing but your cos 60. Is it clear? How you can uh, uh, justify it is see here. For example, if this is my 45, my 45 is positive in I mean sin 45 positive in second quadrant, it will be positive in cos. Is it clear? The 45 for this is also 45 in the cos. Is it clear? Hmm. This is how we, we can just uh, justify for 45 degrees thing. Is it clear? The next ratio will be tan. What is tan? How to find tan is the ratio of sin and cos, right? 0 by 1 is 0, 1 by 2 by root 3 by 2 is 1 by root 3, 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2 get cancelled, it becomes 1. Here root 3 by 2 by 1 by 2, 2 to get cancelled will get root 3 and finally 1 by 0 is nothing but an undefined term. Is it clear? Similarly, we can write it for secant, cosecant and cot. Secant is again reciprocal of sin values that is secant is uh, sorry cosecant is a reciprocal of sin values that is cosecant 0 is infinity, cosecant 30 is 2, cosecant 45 is root 2, cosecant 60 is 2 by root 3 and cosecant 90 is 1. Is it clear? This is how we will remember the values. Is it clear? By the next session, we expect you to remember each and every value. Uh, if we write directly sin 45, we should be able to remember. Clear? Whereas, when it comes to this side, we have to remember what is going to be positive in the different quadrants. Okay? For example, uh, if I take sin 135, right? sin 135, this can be written as sin of 90 plus 45. In which quadrant does it lie? That lies in the second quadrant that is this is 90 plus theta. Right? This quadrant will be second quadrant. Right? This can be written as 90 plus theta or 180 minus theta. Is it clear? What about this third quadrant? It becomes 180 plus theta. Is it clear? The rotation is always in the anti-clockwise direction and 270 minus theta. What about this? This will be 270 plus theta and 0 minus theta or 360 minus theta. Is it clear? Right? And what about the sign when it is added to this 90 plus theta? Remember one more thing, whenever you get a condition such as sin n pi by 2 plus theta, is it clear? Whenever you get sin of n pi by 2 plus theta, whether it is sin or cos or tan or cosecant or secant or whatever, if it is in terms of n pi by 2, where n is not an even number, remember, is it clear? 6 pi by 2, we cannot do anything. If it is 12 pi by 2, we cannot do anything, right? n pi by 2, where n is an odd term, okay? where n is odd, then the ratio changes. Remember that sin n pi by 2 plus theta. If that is a the case, then the ratio changes. This is written as cos theta, right? This is a simple form of reduction. Hmm. Similarly, sin changes into cos and cos changes into sin, that is cos of 90 plus theta or something like that, it will change into sin, right? And you have to check whether in which quadrant does it lie, right? If it is cos of 90 plus theta, let us assume only 90, how it will become? 90, where is 90? This is 90. 90 plus theta, will cos be positive? No, the ratio will change and it will become negative. See here, cos of 
90 plus theta is since 90 is there it will change into sin right 90 plus theta is second quadrant right since it is going to lie in the second quadrant the value will become negative see here what you have to remember by the next class you have to remember these values at least for standard uh, angles and the second thing you have to remember is uh, you have to check whether in which quadrant does it lie and you have to check whether uh, whether the ratio is changing or not if it is n pi by 2 in n pi by 2 if n is odd it has to change if n is even it will remain the same clear and by changing what all will change sin will change into cos cos will change into sin whereas secant will change into cosecant cosecant will change into secant and tan will change into cot cot will change into tan clear is it clear this is what we will expect in the next class based on this we will do more and more problems is it clear fine uh, this is for today let us continue with the more problems in the next session thank you